Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part 1 of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Monte Carlo Methods. Welcome to the 21st lecture in the preparation for the FRM Part 1 exam. In previous sessions, we have learned the basics of probability and statistics, as well as of regression. These topics form the basis for understanding more advanced topics in managing a financial risk. In the previous module on foundations of risk management, we learned about the investor's choice in portfolio selection and only briefly discussed the inherent risk. In this session, we will introduce one of the important concepts of value at risk, VAR which is widely used in the management of financial risk. We will learn how to calculate the risk through different approaches, such as the Monte Carlo simulation. Agenda. We will begin this session with one of the prerequisites for understanding the main concept of Monte Carlo simulations. We will discuss about VAR, or value at risk. As the name suggests, it is the value of the portfolio which is at risk of being lost in the given time horizon. We will learn how to calculate this value with different levels of confidence. Two methods will be discussed in the beginning, delta normal method and historical simulation. Later in the session, we will learn to calculate the VAR using Monte Carlo simulations. We will then learn about the famous Monte Carlo simulation technique and apply it to generate price paths of stocks, and then use it to calculate VAR or option prices. We will also highlight some of the techniques to increase the speed of the simulations. Then we will introduce simulations in cases where there is correlation between the variables. Finally, we will end the session by focusing on the limitations of the simple Monte Carlo simulation technique. Prerequisite, value at risk. You must have seen that prices of stock change, of stock change in a random fashion. If you observe a large data for the portfolio returns, you will find that the returns are normally distributed. In the graph, we have shown that the returns are normally distributed with a mean return of zero. From the normal graph, we can make out that most of the returns lie around zero and that the probability of very high or low returns diminishes rapidly.